don't know. Why? What time is it? Well, after everybody is, it is a nine? Uh-huh. asking you to come, you can't say no now, okay? Okay, I can't say no. How so often it's yes. You sit in a room and have like like 12, like 10 people telling me. Right? Okay, go to So that's a yes. He'll tell you. He'll tell you all the information. Okay, I will go. All right. I promise. I will go. ¿Cuál es mi cámara? Esta? Perfect. Okay, presentas la cámara. Vamos. Perdón? Presentas la cámara, yo te la voy a recibir. Sí, no, presento. Okay, lista. Está corriendo. 3, 2. Hola, ¿qué tal, amigos de Telekit? Estamos aquí. Con Gerard Butler, eh, pero vamos a ver una super película. Olympus has fallen. Hello, Gerard. Hey, how are you? I am good. So tell me, is it? I know it's not your first time in Mexico. Is your second, third? Well, I've been in Mexico a few times, but it's my second time in Mexico City. I was actually here just two months ago for the first time. Oh, really? And I love it. Do you love it? I love what do you love the most? Uh, um, I, the, the atmosphere, the people. I think the people are really, really cool. And I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I, I met so many, just, they're, they're, I didn't feel any ego. People are so friendly. Um, the women are beautiful. And, <laughs> and friendly, again, you know, just friendly. No, no uh, attitude. I just felt I, I made a lot of... Uh, like connection with the people here in Mexico? With the people, absolutely. You know, there's certain places you go to where you meet people and you say hi and, and you can get to know them. There's other places when you meet people, you feel like you already know them because you kind of think the same way. Yeah. And then you start a conversation. You're coming from there rather than here, and um, so I, I, I really, I, I really dig it. I went after I came here the last time, I said I'm coming down here. Like tomorrow. definitely, I'm coming. So listen, I have to be honest. I haven't really like watched the movie. I was supposed to see it last week, but I didn't. So how can you convince me to watch it? Me and the Mexican people, of course. Well, ten of us just <laughs> convinced you to come and watch it. Of course, definitely. I know, but like, how would you convince me about? like to watch it, you have to see this movie. Well, you know, I could say that, that one, this is a, this is a, I mean, do you know what this is? It's like a classic, classic action movie. I haven't seen anything like it for a while. Um, it's about an attack on the White House and our attack has people on the edge of the seat. I can speak from experience, right? We've uh -huh. seen this all over the world. And in America, even in Russia and in Israel, People are cheering and applauding throughout the movie, and, 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 and it's very funny as well, it's very emotional. So one, you have action that we try to make like this, the most realistic, gritty attack in, on, on the White House, and it's kind of unforgettable. And then from there, you go into this situation where you have this incredible standoff, um, you know, you have what's going on in the crisis room, you have the president in a bunker, with a gun to his head and hostages being executed. I mean, it's hardcore. Did you actually like lived it or like in a moment, like for more than 10 minutes, be like, okay, I'm the character and I, I'm living this moment. Yeah. Did you you? You, you? you spend a lot of time living and you try and live it in between. And then when you're there, you've got to try and imagine yourself in this world. I mean, it helps when you have the sets and you have the terrorists there. Yeah. And you have explosions going off and gunfire and you have a gun and you're fighting and you're fighting then you really try, you really feel like you're fighting for your life, you're, you're, you're giving it everything and, and, and you always try and get into that headspace and because you spend a lot of time, I was working with Navy SEALs, with Marines, with the Secret Service. That's awesome. Yeah, so when you spend time with them and you talk to them, you talk to them, you talk to them, you really start to get into that, that headspace. Yes. Well, I, we have seen you like in many things, uh, comedy, drama, what do you like enjoy the most? Because you're very funny. In a weird way, because you're like serious and funny. So I just, I was really like expecting this that I'm seeing right now from you. So, you know, because that's what we actually see on screen. Uh, are you like that in real life? In which, in comedies you mean? Or, you or? are like, well, like in, like in screen you're funny, but like in a serious way. Right. It's like you're not trying to be funny, but you are funny. Right. Well, there's a lot of that in this movie, by the way. Oh, really? actually, there's such funny moments in this movie that come out of the heat of the drama and come out of the, the, the character that because he's so brutal and dark and he so doesn't give a damn in a way, even his superiors, you know, he's in there to do a job and there's a lot of humor comes out of that and, and, and that's true, that's a good point because I love humor that comes <laughs> out of serious situations rather than <laughs> boom. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So. Um, that's, and, and if you can get that, you know, in a comedy, you obviously get that, but if you can do that in an action movie, and so it's serious and you have an audience like, <laughs> like that, and then we even get it in almost the last second of the movie, at the tensest part, the, there's a 
really funny moment that almost happened by accident and it came out of that very thing being serious but being funny. And, and I don't know many movies where you could be two seconds away from the final moment and have an audience burst out laughing. And for the right reasons, they're not laughing yeah. at what's going wrong. Um, but yeah, but so, so maybe right now, because I just made this movie and I loved making it and it was really exciting and, and fresh, I think right now I'm thinking action is my thing. You know? That's amazing. You do it well, anyways, because you're producing as well, right? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, that was cool, you know, producing because you really, we, we, we could make this movie exactly how we wanted to make it. We could make it uh, as shocking and as realistic as we could, but then make sure that we, we could humanize the characters to really bring the audience into that world. What is it yeah. really like to be in the aftermath of an attack when there's a hostage situation, when there's a massive political fallout internationally? And, and you know, and, and that's kind of cool to be able to do that and be able to, you know, get get actors like Morgan Freeman and Aaron Eckhart. That is and awesome. Leo. Yeah, I mean, that's um, that's that's cool. But then you also got to act. Yes. You're producing and then you got to go, wait a minute, wait a minute. But you're like, wait, wait. So I wish we had more time. It's too bad, like, our time is up. But thanks a lot. Yeah. And we, I know, but we really expect you to come more often to Mexico. You promise? I, 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 uh, I promise. Okay, you better that's an do invitation. That. It is an invitation, so thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, Jean. What is this all about? We seguimos aquí Thank you. Cheers. It was a very fast interview. Yeah.